We appreciate you coming back to the Coinceris channel. Our meeting subject will be XRP. I need to start by taking care of this. Talks of a buyout have picked back up steam in response to the recent price spike in XRP. As far as Eleanor Tourette is concerned, this man is the real deal. His plan to buy back XRP for 37,000 or more a token was a publicity ploy when he first proposed it two years ago, so I challenged him about it. Even my Fox Business co-workers and several Twitter users have attacked me. Honestly, I had no idea about that. God is the source of my strength. Ellie, I think the boldest thing you've ever done was send out that tweet. Actually, it's the foundation around which you've constructed a complete career. It all started with Jimmy Valley. A couple of years ago, Eleanor Turret graciously reported on your ridiculous buyback. Since then, she has naturally criticized the notion, banned you, and even remarked, oh, I can help you from a tweet about it. With any luck, that is useful. I see your point. As a publicity stunt, he used the fact that I was still new to crypto and XRP to his advantage by making me believe the pitch. Now even David Schwartz has said that it looks like the repurchase is a sham. On top of that, I've seen a lot of people pushing for this buyback. I will personally ensure that no one gets their hands on my XRP. There is no one who could possibly harm my XRP. If a purchase were to happen, I would want to negotiate the terms on my own. Even without Jimmy Valley, I can do the task. Well, that is really my modest opinion. Other people think this is going to happen without a doubt. Furthermore, they are totally devoted in under you won't find a more welcoming environment than the XRP group. There are a lot of stories in this area. That in my opinion, is what drives many people, for instance, the idea that XRP could hit 10,000 or that it will be utilized daily by individuals worldwide are both motivating. Get moving if that's what motivates you. I don't get why the IMF would go with Ripple when I wouldn't give anyone else my XRP. Brad Garland provided an overview of the XRP network and its metrics during his presentation to the IMF. Ripple keeps an eye on the blockchain for any suspicious activity that might be happening. Additionally, Ripple was named to the Advisory Council of the International Monetary Fund. That settles the matter conclusively that XRP will be priced higher in the future. The real-world uses of XRP are what really excite me, as I've already mentioned. I believe that the price of this cryptocurrency would be driven by Nigeria's challenges to preserve monetary policy, which pushed them to establish its CBDC. Russia is likewise moving quickly, so it's no wonder that every government is looking for a reason to start a CBDC. Additionally, the procedure is moving at a breakneck pace. In the near future. MasterCard will introduce a digital account opening process that is backed by open banking. Despite how fantastic this MasterCard is, this remains the problem. At the very end, they must contend with sweat. That is precisely why MasterCard has partnered with Ripple. In the near future, MasterCard will offer online account opening for specific debit and prepaid products in the US. The main advantage of the open banking for account opening program for us based MasterCard, consumer and small business debit card issuers, as well as consumer prepaid card issuers, is a suite of open banking goods. In addition to this shift, the release notes that mobile banking usage among Generation Z is on the rise, with an anticipated 47% to 48% growth by 2026. According to what was said in the news release. I need you to fill me in on what's going on. If they want to keep up with the times, MasterCard and Visa will need to figure out how to make cash apps more appealing than traditional banking and even simple debit cards. As indicated earlier, the back end continues to rely on Swift, 
which is an ongoing issue. This is the first impression, and it's stunning. Even David Schwartz has brought this up previously, so it's not new. And it's absolutely true. Building a reliable offering does not necessitate real-time payments. This further solidifies my belief that the value of XRP will skyrocket very soon. While Europe watches over China's development, the US builds. The crypto winter has started, but a regulatory spring is just around the corner. Currently, the movement toward regulation is growing in popularity. Meme coins will also be around for quite some time, according to everyone on X restrictions will lead to the elimination of anything without a practical application. I bring it up because, okay, some people still get a kick out of running after keys and the odd meme currency. You can get rich quick using meme money. Although a faster recovery was expected for this cycle, you should be mindful that all of your money may be lost in an instant if regulations were to be implemented. All of it rests on carefully curated data and evidence. Only someone unfamiliar with the current Mac Marco environment might be impatient. I take it as a sign that they meant the crypto market dips had happened in the broader context. You should have been ready all along, but you aren't. Smoke is the culprit. The current upswing for bitcoins is stronger than past upswings. Consistently, credible crypto sites have stated this. This is also said by the ones that are backed by blockchain technology. The current cycle is moving at a somewhat faster rate than the last one, and I expect bitcoin to hit its high sometime in the early summer. The season would also start much early if that happened. As I indicated earlier, anything is possible in 2024. I think we should huddle this XRP till it becomes zero. Since prices always fall so sharply after an increase, someone needs to tell me why this keeps happening. But not limited to XRP. Unlike this coin, no other coin exhibits such unusual loss behavior. Why some may tell you that it's having a negative impact on the community as a whole. While XRP pumps last, it pumps hardest, and that is something I feel compelled to mention. The fact that the price of XRP will surge when no one is watching should never be forgotten. It would be wise for you to hold onto something when that happens. On the other hand, XRP has always saved the day. I plan to ride this coin to zero before selling it. In my opinion, the odds of us going in the opposite direction are 99.9%. The price of XRP is going to skyrocket. Similar to our previous brief supporting Ripple, Coinbase, and Binance, we at Digital Chamber will continue to oppose the SEC's efforts to regulate the digital asset industry. The Electronic Commerce Chamber has asked the courts to limit the SEC's overreach. In response, we have filed an amicus curiae brief in the landmark government verse case before the Supreme Court. The SEC's attempts to regulate the digital asset business through legislation are something we intend to halt. And it needs to happen so that we can. Gary is behaving much above his authority, and someone needs to put him in his place. And all he's managed to do is limit crypto and innovation. Positions that you take. Leave a comment with your thoughts and feelings. Also, hit that subscribe button if you like what you see. Thank you so much, leave.